ilioinguinal and iliohypogastric nerve block. This is one of the videos I prepare to cover the truncal region and analgesia. So if you are interested to watch any to, to learn about any of these blocks, uh, watch the other videos. There is a, a comprehensive video to describe the anatomy of the um, chest wall and abdominal wall. So let's get started here. Ilioinguinal and iliohypogastric nerve. They both originate from L1. So this is 5, 4, 3, 2, this is L1. So as you, as you see, both nerves came from L1. They wrap around, they go uh, eventually in the interficial plane between the internal oblique and transversus abdominis, and they wrap around just above the, the crest here, and they go, as you see in the other picture here, they go uh, anterior and inferior. The iliohypogastric uh, nerve stop around here, and the ilioinguinal, as the name suggests, run with the uh, inguinal ligament and goes slightly uh, down. Now, this is very important, uh, and it's more even more important when we think about the sensory innervation. So, as I said, both originate from L1 anterior ramus and they are both motor innervate the internal and transversus abdominis. What's important to recognize here the sensory uh, innervation. This is extremely important uh, when you have a patient uh, in the chronic pain clinic. So the LU hypogastric it covers the posterior lateral gluteal skin. That's the key difference between them. Uh, it's, it's usually hard to differentiate between them in the front, but if the patient tell you, I have pain here, so posterior lateral gluteal skin, uh, that's uh, uh, um, hypogastric. Uh, while the ilioinguinal uh, upper medial thigh, so the ilioinguinal is, is uh, more uh, well demarcated here. So upper medial thigh, uh, skin over the root of the penis and anterior scrotum, or the monus uh, pupis and uh, labia uh, majora. So it cover part of the labia majora, and in, in male it cover part of the anterior scrotum and, and penis. This is another important uh, differentiation between the ilioinguinal and the iliohypogastric. Now, how are we going to do it? Supine position, linear transducer, uh, place uh, the transducer um, in oblique orientation while when the lateral edge of the transducer over the uh, aces anterior uh, superior iliac spine and the medial edge pointing toward the umbilicus. Apply gentle pressure and, and tilting um, the transducer caudally to optimize the three uh, muscles. Now, if you only see two muscles, then most likely you are uh, way inferior. So um, you need to move the transducer uh, cephalid and lateral until you see the three muscles. Then you insert your needle in plane. I prefer medial to lateral approach. I have more space there, and I think it's uh, less painful to the patient. And then advance the needle until the tip between the internal oblique and the transversus abdominis muscle. Um, important landmark will be the deep circumflex iliac artery. So you may want to turn some Doppler or just confirm it without Doppler, so deep circumflex iliac artery, and usually the ner uh, nerves one to the right and one to the left. Now it's always confusing which one is lateral, which one is medial, so my trick for you 
ilio inguinal has two L and lateral has two L. So two L, two L. Ilio inguinal lateral. While ilio hypogastric has one L and medial has one L. So this is how you remember them. Now this is a, a real ultrasound picture. Uh, see the orientation of the ultrasound probe here, touching the aces, pointing to the umbilicus. This is a skinny patient, but sometimes you get an obese patient. It's more challenging. And really, it's, it's superior. If you go down here, you will see only two muscles. So, external oblique, internal oblique, transversus abdominis, and uh, you will see um, laterally the ilioinguinal and more medially the iliohypogastric and between them the deep circumflex iliac artery. So you bring your needle from here to that interfacial and, and put like five or 10 uh, mil. Now, when uh, we are doing uh, radiofrequency ablation or pulse radiofrequency uh, neuromodulation, uh, you can do them here, or I have done them sometimes when I have hard time to see them there, I go, um, around this area here because they are wrapping around the abdomen. Remember, you can find them and you always can stimulate and find uh, the nerve. So we are blocking the ilioinguana, iliohypogastric nerve. Um, for acute pain, this is uh, very good for uh, inguinal hernia repair, especially open. For chronic pain, um, unfortunately, these nerves get injured during um, uh, open hernia repair and uh, in some laparotomy. So uh, I see a lot of patients in the clinic with neuropathic pain, uh, post inguinal hernia uh, surgery, chronic pain, or sometimes I have a patient with uh, uh, emergency x lap, and sometimes they, you have growing pain, especially with the ilioinguinal. Um, contraindication, in, like general contraindication, patient refusal, allergy, infection, bleeding, and complication uh, uh, bowel injury, injury to the deep circumflex iliac artery, and last, and infection. And thank you for watching.